this point, right? So, I mean, it's got to be right in the, the heart of things. How, how are you feeling right now? How's the, how's the prep going? Feeling great. I mean, we're about to get a snowstorm here in Jersey. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to Phoenix, get some warm weather. Prep is great. Looking forward to it. Just can't wait to get back in Oscar. Big fight, uh, obviously, but obviously uh, it's on ESPN as well. I wonder, I mean, are you enjoying that moment? Does that feel special? You know that you're going to be on that debut, like, actual ESPN event? Yeah, I mean, I'm super excited. First card in ESPN to be on it. As far as I know, I'm on the main card as it is, and I'm looking forward to be on ESPN and just go out there and fight and put on the show. Is this fight personal to you? I mean, you guys have been on a, seems like a collision course for a while and had a little track record together. I mean, is this... Have an emotional fight or a personal fight for you? Not at all. No, I tried fighting way before before you got in the UFC, and then uh, we finally got it you know, set away that we're gonna fight now. It's been a couple years in the UFC. Good fight. Looking forward to the fight. Uh, I don't, not the personal at all. I just can't wait to go in there and just do what I love. What do you think about the stakes of the fight? Because I think a lot of people are saying maybe a number one contender fight. At worst, you know, winner gets a number one contender fight. What, what, what do you feel? Honestly, I think, you know, winner between me and Aljo's fight should either probably fight the winner of Marlon or Sansal, or maybe fight the winner of uh, Cody or Pedro, which is a little hard, a little rough because I already fought Pedro and beat him. So I'm not sure where it's going to go. I, I feel like that Sansal Marlon fight was the normal contender fight, but you really don't know what's going to happen. You kind of just got to roll with the punches and see what they say. When you're in a situation like that where you, it is kind of this round robin between these guys, I mean, do you feel like you need to go in there and do something definitive to stand out, or is it just, you know, getting a win and, and carrying on? You know, you always want to try to do something to stand out, but it's hard, it depends on the fight. You know, I fought Dodson last fight, and he, you know, he's a tough opponent. You make a mistake with him, he'll, he'll knock you out, but I was able to get a nice decision. But for an MMA fan, it was an uh, exciting fight. For a casual fan, it was like, you know, one guy trying to chase one, the other guy and run in a lot. It's, it's just kind of hard to fight. It all depends on, you know, what shows up and how the person fights, and that's what makes a fight. What do you think about this new UFC belt they rolled out? Knowing that we're just talking about these titles, what, what, what do you think about it? I, I'm like happy on one hand, like it looks really dope and cool. On the other hand, I can't get like another belt and another belt and another belt. So it's like, you know, that mixed match, but you know, at the end of the day, you have to dump around your waist and let's say UFC is do you feel anything about TJ dropping down to flyweight? Like, is it holding up your division, or do you think because there's not a solid number one contender, it's okay? I think it's holding up for some of the guys that kind of deserve a fight, like Sansa or Marlon. Um, I think it's holding up them, but they're already going to fight each other again and rematch each other. I think on Sansa was really the number one contender to come down and everything. But uh, he's dropping down, he's doing something for his legacy. Can't blame him. If I was in his shoes, I would do the same thing. When they talk about maybe ending the flyweight division, you're probably going to get the whole load of new banter ways to consider the fight. Yeah. Do you look at any of the flyweights right now and think like Henry Cejudo maybe in the future, or are you just focused on what you got? I mean, no, if they come up, we'll fight them. I mean, coming up a weight class is always harder than going down a weight class, to be honest with you. Uh, at least I think, and then coming up, there's a lot bigger boys that we deal with. So, should be interesting, but I don't think that there's going to be that many stays, depending on what happens tonight. Probably we'll save the future of the flyweight division. And I honestly think either way, whoever wins, I don't think it's the end of the division itself. Is there anyone at 125 that you think can make a splash at 135, or is it different size of the two? I mean, the only person that, the only two people that I thought could make a difference is Henry and Demetrius Johnson. Johnson's gone, and you got Henry already fighting the champ at 135, so should be interested. I mean, if Henry does win tonight, does he come up and fight at 135 for the belt? What's he really do? Cool. Thank Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it. All right.